Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We've got a great webinar in store for you. We're going to talk about Social Security, and we've got some advancements there that I think will be uh, nice to chat about. A lot going on in the world, obviously, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to be as valuable as uh, any group could ever be to you. And part of that is to being responsive to what's going on in the world. So we're going to talk about Social Security today, uh, like we always do. We'll also talk a little bit about some of the ways that we can help you meet people in kind of a digital world uh, and, and expose them to some of your knowledge on Social Security to help them do what they need to do to get their retirement income in shape. So it should be a good webinar today. We've got the coaches joining us. Dave Pimper will join us here shortly. Uh, thank you all for uh, taking the time out of your Friday. Uh, hope everybody is doing well and their families are doing well and everybody they care about is doing well. And uh, I say keep the Purell handy, I guess, is what we need to worry about most right now. But uh, we still kind of keep business rolling and we're here at IMS to Make sure that you know uh, we're still answering our phones. Uh, we're fortunate to be uh, in Nebraska. Nebraska hasn't gone to uh, kind of an essential only type of format yet. So we've got about seven or eight people here in the office. We've got uh, the rest of our uh, 45 or 50 associates spread across the Omaha and Texas and Kansas and Pennsylvania and South Dakota and Florida. I think that's all of them. <laughs> the states that we're in uh, that are uh, ready and willing to help uh, on a remote basis, doing our part as best we can to uh, you know, tamp the spread of, of uh, the COVID virus. So I appreciate your patience with us. Hopefully you won't need it. Hopefully that we're, we're able to keep our services and everything that we're doing here uh, right on par with what you're used to. Uh, we're answering the phone and doing everything we can to make sure that that is, that is certainly the case. So uh, I can be honest with you all, uh, most of the carriers that we now do business with are probably down to about uh, five to 10% of their workforce still uh, working in the office. The rest of them are working out of their homes and they're pretty well set up for that, but that's gonna cause some delays for sure. Uh, we even had carriers, uh, we had one carrier that not only did they get rained on with business because of a rate decrease? They had an earthquake, and of course, then they were social distancing with the COVID as well at the same time. So they had a lot going on, and uh, that's for those of you that might be doing some business with us with Equitable, um, that's what's happening there. So hey, we appreciate your patience as we're trying to work uh, with them, and our team is working hard with them. And I know they're working extra hard trying to get everything done, and frankly, doing a pretty good job with it. So, um, but all in all, thank you. say no if you do have a little interest we can help you through Social Security Act so I'm going to buzz through a couple of things here um, as I look at our crew uh, thank you all uh, by the way we've got a lot of folks that regularly do business with us and I think the fact that we're looking at Social Security a little bit closer uh, for some for various reasons and also looking at doing that uh, often a little bit of digital digital workshop format I think has maybe uh, some people interested in that more than usual so we've got a really large group with us today which is great uh, thank you all uh, for uh, joining us. I'm going to run through a couple of things. Most of you are aware of these programs. There are about 40, 30 or 40 of you that are relatively new to us. So I'm going to run through them just so that you're aware. This is what I call the IMS commercial section. So RPM and marketing reimbursement, pretty simple programs. You can see before you on the screen kind of what we do. What I'll say about the RPM is those are the biggest checks we now send out. So if, if you refer someone to us and they begin to do business, then you get a bonus on their business as long as they do business on all of their business. So that doesn't come out of their pocket. Nothing out of their pocket. It's strictly, uh, we kind of take it out of our advertising budget. Actually, we'd much rather pay you than pay an email blast company or a magazine or somebody and that's how we we meet more of our new producers via referral now uh, than any other any other way that we do business or any way that we advertise uh, market reimbursement another program really a simple program when you do business with us no matter what business you do something goes in your marketing reimbursement account send us a receipt and we will match your spend dollar for dollar so great little program I'm going to give you all a chance just to take a look at the various levels here uh, that you can claim your new producer bonus at. So if you're within your first 180 days of being with us with IMS, uh, then uh, there you can still claim your new producer builders. And we've added that. We've extended that now to the million dollar level for obvious reasons that we 
had that happen where folks do more business. We don't we want to reward you all the way up. Uh, and what I want you to look at there is that there's various rewards. What I'll say to you as we close this slide out uh, is that if you do something different and you want us to work with you in another way to build your business besides what you see on there, that's great. We'd love to do that. Anything that's good for you and helping you grow your business is good for us. So we want to make that happen. So uh, take advantage of that if you're still in your first 180 days. If your sales director has forgotten to mention those to you, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone that's just getting bored with us knows that they are, there's plenty of reasons to get started with us quickly. We've got a great back office support here, a lot of stuff that we do to help you build your business. It's all, it goes all the way from case design all the way to making sure that once your business is issued that we give you a call and say, hey, you're, this is when your commissions are going to go out and this is how much they're going to be. So we're pretty solid on that. Our competitors would agree. It's a lot of the reasons that people, maybe if for some reason they get lured away with a shiny object from another of our competitors, that's generally the reason they come back. So uh, we do have, we've got a lot, a lot of what you need to grow your business, but we also have a lot of what you need to make sure that your business gets transacted in and out the door quickly without you having to put a lot of attention to it. One of the things that we've added recently is Firelight. This is probably particularly appropriate, like, appropriately right now, appropriate right now for you because of the uh, current situation that we're in. So Firelight is an e-app platform, and you may have heard of it. What we've done differently here at IAMS is we put a single sign-on. So all the carriers that you do business with us on the annuity side and some on the life side uh, are on Firelight and you can transact business for us. So that what you need to do is just go in, there's just a sample of some of the companies, but what you need to do is go into our website, and I'll show it to you here in a second when I put up, up our website cover page, but you go into our website, register for Firelight, we'll walk you through that. It's like a three minute process, and then you can begin to do e-apps via all of our carriers that you do business with us on in one at one easy location. So that you, know, you don't have to go to, you know, if, depending on what company you're doing business with, you have to go to their website and figure it out. It's all right now on our website for you. Another advantage of that is if you're doing business with two or three carriers with one client, you can go ahead and copy and paste their information from app to app to app. It makes it really easy for you to do repeat business or business with multiple carriers uh, on one client. So a lot of good reasons for that. And frankly, it's uh, today it, in many states, it's probably the only way you can do business when you can't meet with folks. I kind of I saw a notification from the state of Pennsylvania yesterday that basically it was from the Department of Insurance that basically said, hey, uh, you know, talking to clients about doing business is not an essential activity and they're gonna give guys $500 fine uh, for trying for trying to have a face-to-face -face appointment. So you really have to do it digital. Uh, here's our advertising department, the creative marketing solutions that we call it. Basically that's your advertising department. Uh, so whatever you need to do to grow your business, uh, we, we try and do as much of that as we can at no cost, low cost, pro bono uh, work to help you grow your business. And that team uh, just expanded to six and they are, that's their deal. Uh, they work with folks like you all day long, helping them grow their business. So they not only can they do what you need them to do, what you ask them to do, but they can give you some great suggestions on things that other, other of our producers have used to grow their business. So take advantage of the creative department. Great website. So, uh, and I know this is not really easy to see, uh, but let me, uh, right here on our website, terrible with colors, I don't know what color that is, but oops, um, oh, it doesn't even show it here. So right about here on your website, if you sign into your, to our website, you're gonna see eApp Solutions. You, uh, if you hover over that, it's gonna go down to uh, Firelight Registration. So go in there real quick and uh, go to Firelight Registration and do a quick registration. It'll, it'll only take you a minute to do so. Um, and no doubt, uh, as you go through and uh, talk to your clients, you're gonna find that a much, much easier way to do business. I've, I've talked to guys over and over again that have converted to doing e-apps. They love it. You always have the right forms. Uh, everything goes smoothly. You're, you never miss a blank uh, on the app. It's a really smooth process. So hopefully you'll take advantage of that. Retirement Analyzer is a nice little program that we make available. We're making available at no cost right now to our producers. Uh, so if there's something that we can do to help you grow your business, Retirement Analyzer is a great tool that you can use with your clients. You can look there on the slide and see what things you can show. You can see a sample of what some of those slides look like. So what I would say is if you if you want to have a, a more uh, engaged a relationship with the client or you've got a client with uh, more assets you want to put that all into a nice plan form and retirement analyzer is a way to do it 
and it incorporates social security, incorporates all their other investments, and it can you know show them where their shortfalls are, if they're maybe a little bit out of whack on their uh, what their risk uh, level is, is compared to what they uh, where their money currently is. Uh, it will help you show that to them in a very graphic format. So take advantage of that. Go Marcus here, call at our office. Hey Marcus, show me uh, show me Firelight. He'd love to take a few minutes with you or not Firelight. Show me Retirement Analyzer. He'd, he'd love to take a few minutes with you and walk you through the retirement analyzer, how it works, get you a sample, uh, let you uh, tinker with it yourself, maybe run one on yourself, he'll give you a sign on so you can go in and do that. Times Wealth, if you have looked at potentially uh, incorporating managed assets into your business, I would encourage you to take a minute, maybe give us a call and give, uh, the, give the Adams Wealth Management team a second to chat with you. Uh, if you need some help uh, through how, uh, how to go about getting appointed, you know, going through the licensing studying process. We've got a we've got a, uh, a regimen built for you to do that. If maybe you're not happy with your current uh, wealth uh, management firm, your current RIA, uh, maybe they're not giving you the service level um, that you are interested in. Uh, you know, having a hard time if you if maybe your business was in the insurance realm and now you're thinking about, hey, I need to go more on the wealth management side and I just haven't gotten the support I need to do that I don't know how to talk the talk walk the walk right then maybe give the folks at Iams Wealth a call in fact I put a poll up you can just check yes on that and I can have them give you a ring uh, maybe you're think the fees from your current RIA are too high uh, or wonder if they might be too high or maybe you're not getting the value that you expected to get from the fees that you're paying I've gotten really good feedback from the guys uh, that have gone over to Iams Wealth from other RIAs not only the the fees, but what they get for their fees. You know, we give a website, give them a database, give them their you know, you know, there's some real value uh, to be gotten from the fees that are being paid. Where I get the most interest from folks is our payout. So we pay our payout is just uh, on average just a little over one percent, which is great. Uh, but the where we're set apart a little bit is that we don't have a a grid that you then go through. So you're not going to get ninety percent of one percent or nine percent of a little over one percent or not. 80 or 70 or 60 percent of the pay, you're going to get all of it. And I, my understanding is a lot of times that's not the case with RIA. So if that's something that might be of interest, you hit yes on that poll. I'd be glad to spend some time with you. And again, if you're not at all interested, I'm getting a lot of yeses uh, and then a lot of people not voting. Don't, don't hesitate to put no on there at all. If that's not something that's part of your business, if you're happy with the current RIA, you're happy with the payouts, happy with the fees, happy with the support you're getting, happy with the day-to-day -day service that you're getting from your RIA, please uh, let us know that. Just check no there. Uh, but if any of those things are not the case for you and you want to take a minute and have uh, Sarah or uh, Charles or Mike give you a call uh, and take a couple minutes and walk you through what they do and see how what they do might help you, uh, then check yes. And thank you all for voting so quickly. I do appreciate that because we do want to get moved along here pretty quickly. Um, looks like we got just a few of you that haven't voted yet. So if you would really quick uh, do so, I'm gonna go ahead and move the slides along here. I'll close that out. And if for some reason you aren't able to vote, that's great. Uh, I understand how that can happen sometimes. Technology over, over <laughs> overwhelms us all at some point. Just give me a call here at the office. I'll, I'll chat you my number here in a second, but, but the number here is 800-255-5055. I'll be glad to spend a minute or two with you uh, and just ask for Steve, uh, Steve Murray, and I'll be glad to take a few minutes with you and go through some of that stuff. I'm going to close that poll out, hopefully. There we go, and get moved right along here. A couple things that I wanted to uh, make sure that you know. So uh, we've done life and annuity caddies for the past 15 years. Really, one of the more uh, impactful things that we've done, and it's kind of sought after within the industry. We do a great job at our academies. We've got four top producers. We spend a lot of time on helping you guys with sales and marketing. You know, it really is something that for a lot of folks, uh, it's, it can make a real difference in their practice. You can see just looking there, you know, some of the things that we talk about. Uh, but the bottom line is that we're not spending a lot of time talking about a product. We're spending a lot of time talking about how products work in a sales, from a sales standpoint, what you need to do from a marketing standpoint. You know, is your Facebook stuff right? Is your website right? Can we help you with that? And then, of course, we have four top producers that come in and kind of talk a little bit about what they do to grow their business, and we make their services available to you as well. So it's three days out of your office. You'll come in on a Wednesday and leave on a Friday. Uh, we will 
take care of your expenses. We're going to take care of your travel. We'll take care of your hotel, take care of your meals and social events, things like that while you're there. Uh, but it really is, uh, you know, three days out of your office, it's going to be grinding through some great ideas. You're going to take some solutions back to your office. They're definitely going to help you grow your business. Uh, and if that's something that's of interest to you and you haven't been into one of our sales academies here over the last couple of years, go ahead and hit yes on that poll. We'll send you out a registration form and we'll also send you out an hour by hour itinerary so you can see what we talk about uh, just you know, hour by hour, step by step, so you can make sure that it's going to be valuable to you. And if you look at that uh, agenda and you say, you know what, I don't see anything on here that looks like I, I can uh, build my business and get to a new level with it, then by all means, don't don't register. Because what happens when you register is then that kind of puts you on the list of people that we will invite. We've had to delay, obviously, our first academy of the year, but I, I'm guessing that by midsummer we'll be uh, trying to squeeze in our last three or four academies as, as quickly as we can. So uh, we're going to try to keep those rolling for you when, when we can get back on the road. Uh, and I hope that uh, is of interest to you and you'll, you'll be one of the folks that we see at one of our academies here uh, before 2020 is over. Again, I'm going to close that poll out. Thank you all for voting so quickly. Again, those of you that aren't voting, uh, that's uh, if, you, if there's reason for that, simply give me a call. I'll be glad to take a moment and walk you through what you need to understand about any of these things that we're offering. So I'm going to close that out as well. We're just going to keep moving along. And I'm going to buzz through this last part because I've been talking too long already and I want to get moving to the heart of the matter. So a couple things, if you're doing business with Athene or I'm in Athene, you can qualify for our trip down to the beautiful Montage, that's in Cabo. Beautiful, you can see it kind of sits on a nice little bay there, great swimming beach, uh, great property, one of the best, probably the best property. It's a Montage property. If you haven't looked at a Montage property, they are ultra, ultra nice. So that'll be a great getaway for you and your guests. Love to have you join us. Still plenty of time to qualify. You've got through the end of June. We're not going to go till late August. Uh, and we're going to take a pretty good group down there. And this is only available to folks doing their theme business through IAMS. If you're doing your theme business elsewhere, this is not a trip that you qualify for. This is co-sponsored by us and by them. Good news, too, is that any business that you do that qualifies you towards that, which takes $3 million of annuity premium, uh, also qualifies you towards our uh, IAMS Marketing Summit. We're going to go down to the beautiful secrets at Puerto Varda at Varda. Bay in Port of Arda, Mexico, and that's going to be uh, right after the first of the year, uh, February 2021. That's for you and your guests. Of course, that's a fully uh, all-inclusive resort. It takes 3.5 million. So you can see if you put the numbers together, you can do 3 million with the theme and another 500,000 with any other carrier with us. You and your guests are going to get two trips. So it'll be a great, great opportunity. And beyond that, if you um, do a little bit more business with us. We're going to take you and your guest on a tag trip uh, to Punta Mita to a Four Seasons down in Mexico. So, again, love to have you join us on all of those trips. We try to make that easy to qualify for. You can kind of see the numbers here. 8.5 million is going to be immediate qualification for that. 6.5 million gets you eligible. It takes 3.5 million to qualify for uh, the, the uh, secrets, and it takes 3 million to qualify for the Athene. That's a basically progressive. So, if a person does 8.5 million and 3 million of us is with uh, Athene. You're going to take three trips uh, between August and February of 2021. So we'd love to have you join us at all three. All right, let's get moving along here. If it'll let me. Okay, Dave, are you with us? Absolutely. There you are. I've talked too long, and I apologize for that. I've uh, yeah. let off with a little bit of COVID-19 stuff. Oh, you're fine. You did a nice stuff, job. So, yeah, hopefully that. Uh, Good value yeah, to everybody. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let you. I'm going to turn the thing over to you right away here this morning. Get you uh, get us to the heat of the of the matter here. I've just given you everything that you need to run this webinar from here on out. Okay. So for those of you that have never met Dave, uh, Dave is uh, the coach. He's been with us uh, for about 15 years now. Lazarus Coaching. When I first met Dave, he must have been in his early 50s because uh, I'd always get older. Uh, so uh, if there's anything that we can do. As we're going along here, uh, I, Dave, I did kind of introduce uh, the folks to the fact that we're looking at, we've been doing some digital workshops and how that can help them in their business. So if you can dwell on yep, that a yep. couple of times throughout, I think that would be great. With that, I'm going to turn it over to the coach, Mr. Dave Pimper. Hey, thank you very much, Steve. Uh, I, I, uh, I enjoyed everything that you talked about, Steve, with the exception of, of me being much older right now. So I will hold that against you. 
I promise you. Um, we got a lot going on um, at, at IAMS. I'm a producer and a coach, so I don't work for IAMS. I have coached for many, many years. In my 39 years, when I started the business in 1981, I have coached uh, nearly 30 years, and uh, the last 15 of those years um, uh, has been with IAMS, and it's been enjoyable. IAMS understands it's the producer. They don't make money unless the producer produces. And I know this is trying times for a lot of folks. I'm surprised. We got a lot of, well, I guess more people are at home now. We got a lot of folks that are online with this today. But, you know, in, 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 and I've been through a lot of tough times in 2000. Just remember, 80% of my personal business is from the security side. Uh, the 20% uh, that I do from the guarantee side, uh, by far the majority is fixed indexed. Um, though I... I don't know, Steve, if you're still on the line, but Steve calls me and says, hey, we got a we got a seven year at three point five percent. And so I just did one hundred thousand a fixed annuity. Actually, we can do it, I think, on next Tuesday, April the 7th. Uh, so I do a little bit of fixed annuity on guarantees. Also, you're going to you find do. that more people want guarantees, maybe not. Oh, you're welcome. Steve. I, I, you're welcome. But you know what it is? I mean. What happened? I mean, how where, where can you get a three point five percent guaranteed rate? I shopped the local banks. And the two of them on a five-year CD on the preferred rate, I'm not kidding you, one was 0.3% and the other one was 0.75%. And I asked both of them, are you getting any money coming in? She said, we're not. Well, well, no no kidding. No surprise. Here we're talking about a seven-year at yeah, at 3.5%. So, I mean, if it, and I'm not here to sell product. My my job is to coach and seminar coaching and retirement boss radio, host coaching and so, et cetera, sales process coaching. But I'm just telling you what, that's a heck of a rate. And, 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 and I was talking to Steve and said, by the way, I mean, this just goes like hot off. I mean, it just came across. Right. And Steve, you probably didn't know this, but that actually we can't do that until the 7th. Yeah, we right. I thought we could do it yesterday, but we couldn't. But it's the 7th. And, and yeah, so, but pretty cool. So here's what happens is, we know that business is changing now. Uh, will, it, will it always change? Um, I'm not going to say that. We will get back to where, you know, we can go eat at restaurants and we can go to church and we can do group things. Absolutely it will. You know, nothing lasts forever. Uh, I, I just, one of my favorite sayings is this too shall pass. And I just <laughs> bought a side and it says, this too shall pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. And it will. And it might take three, four months. It might take six months, but I'll tell you right now, um, I know a lot more about online. And this is the, the service that we use here works well for webinars. What happened was, is we used, uh, actually we used Zoom and, and we didn't have the, I mean, it, it, it worked fine. I mean, the, the, the production was good on it. The, 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 the outcome of the audio was good on it. But but you have to download. You got to download the app. And even though I th even though I thought it was pretty easy, a lot of people had trouble downloading that app. So the next one we're doing, we went to a different service. We actually looked at two. The the, the Facebook vendor is an, he's really has expertise in this arena. I don't. I'm 65 years old. He's a young in his 40s, and um, and he loves the digital end of it. But he said this is unbelievable of what we can do with this. We were limited with it before. But but I'll tell you, the first one that we did, I got seven appointments from it, and I've had three already. Two, I helped with Social Security. The third one, there's 75000 that's that's in play for a second appointment. The other four I have not had yet. I'm having them. Um, I'm actually uh, – all three of those were on the phone. Interesting. But I, I, I mean, I just had a face-to-face -face yesterday in a lot of places. You can't do that now, so more people are doing things by phone in DocuSign – you know, or scanning and signature, et cetera, because we're in a little different era. But I'll tell you what, you, you, if, if you're not continuing to prospect, you're going to wake up in about a month or two with absolutely no business coming in, you know, from commissions or from the fee base. You just are. So this is a great way. And I'll tell you what, Social Security claiming 94% of all people claim a social security benefit upon them retiring 94 percent and what happens is is that the other hot topic right now is 401k ira rollover which i put both of those 
uh, uh, seminars together. And then um, uh, IAMS, uh, Insurance Agency Marketing Services, Steve's company, they did all of the creative work on it and making it look great and up to date. And so I just, I, 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 I do more social security workshops than 401ks, but uh, you aren't going to have as many people that you're talking to, but they know that you're talking about the rollover money, about the, about the Roth conversion money. They know that if, if they bring in the statements, so they're going to talk to you about their investments. And so there's no transitioning from Social Security over. Do I like it better than Social Security? Not saying that. I'm just saying in today's day and time, when people are looking down and seeing that they're 300000 all of a sudden – you know, was worth um, uh, two hundred thousand because they've been overly aggressive in the stock market. Uh, it makes a big impact. So our next online, which is going to be in two weeks, we're doing it on four hundred one k IRA rollovers. Uh, actually, the name of the uh, this is I changed this last time too. The name of the of the workshop is um, uh, is your retirement plan locked and loaded. And it gives a really great connotation to kind of get people, you know, am I locked and loaded on my retirement plan? Well, I have 300000 that's worth two hundred. I, I, I better talk. We're also going to talk about all the new things, all the new Secure Act stuff, you know, 70 to 7.5, talking about inherited, talking about uh, lifetime income annuities within 401ks, uh, banding small 401ks together so they can, they can make an impact in the, in the retirement marketplace. We're also going to talk about some of the new things all around retirement. So where you can go in and you can not alone, you can actually take, you know, up to a hundred thousand dollars, you know, from your four oh one K. Okay. You're taxed on it, but but the but the fifty nine and a half rule does not come into play. How about going in and and uh, having the RMDs are going to go away for the 2020 year. You don't have to do an RMD if you're over the age of seventy two or over the age of if you're 80 or 85 and taking an RMD you can you're getting an RMD holiday there's there's about five things that we're going to be talking about that are brand new and so we're going to do this one with the new software uh everything went great last time except for the number of people the number of people that 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 registered i mean we had we had 87 people between two nights register. That's a lot, but we didn't have enough people show up. But, and we truly do believe that it's because of uh, the software. So we're, we're making a change here and that's what we're doing. We're doing things quickly. We're doing things very nimbly. Uh, when the size of the firm IAMs are big enough uh, to get some of the very, hopefully the best products, but they're, but they're small enough to make quick decisions. And that's what we're doing right here. And then we will roll every, even though, We've got a couple, two or three people that are doing it before that. We'll roll everything out here after we do this next one. So I did one on social security. I was very happy. Only just we just more people to attend, and we think we, we're going to go in and fix that. We're going to do a 401k and kind of get a feeling between those two because 401ks right now has to be timely. Okay, so that's so again uh, it, it, at the end here you can mark yes if you want to, and we can talk about marketing. And we're still going to give the guarantee, a guaranteed 25 buying units. So 25, 25 households will, will, are guaranteed to be on two nights on that line. If they aren't, we're paying you back. If 24 are there, we're paying you back 100 bucks. If only 20 people, 20 households show up, you know what happens then? Then we're going to go and pay you 500 bucks back. Or you can use 500 for your next seminar. If nobody shows up, it doesn't cost you a thing. See how many, see how many. FMOs, mail order houses, seminar companies are giving a guarantee for 2,500. And I will tell you what, I will say it's probably none. When, when I went out and shopped around, most of the big ones, the well-known, they're good at what they do, but they're charging two or two and a half times as much, okay? I've done a lot of seminars, 500 plus seminars. I make a complicated subject. I make it easier. It's a system. I'm a big, big system guy. So I believe that there's an A through Z kind of a system, and we walk you through that system. Okay? If there's any questions, certainly um, type them on in. I'll be more than happy to help you. Yeah, that 25 buying units guaranteed. There's no, there's no meals involved. The 401k seminar also, no meals involved. 2,500 bucks is all in, which is a pretty cool thing. 
So let's go through. I say the next best thing of being wise oneself is to live in a circle of those who are. And I tell people, I am the person who who are. <laughs> I'm going to teach you up on Social Security Night. And then whether you work out of your home and go to their home or whether you have an office, but I put down the offices there. I, I have two registered offices. Um, I'm not going to go into the specifics. And I'm going through this pretty darn quickly. So I go through it slower in the workshop and then much slower when they come in. Remember, what's the sole goal of having a seminar? The sole goal. Yeah, to get enough qualified people there. That's the goal of the seminar, to get enough people there. Then the next sole goal is to get enough appointments. That's what you have to have. And most of our appointments, we're still doing some face-to-face because -face we're, not, we're not a shelter in home state now. But most of our appointments are by phone. And, and you know, we're, we're going to probably do that at least till the end of April. I might go longer than that. I stay positive. I mean, you know, this is, it's a bummer. But you know, what, what do you do? You, you, got, you got to go in and you got to keep swinging. You, got, you can't hit the ball if you don't keep swinging. I wrote yesterday, I mean, all through this, I mean, I had three appointments, and they were all face-to-face -face, uh, in the last three weeks, and I wrote 200,000 yesterday, and, and, a, and a fair amount of that was from the, you know, we had two-thirds of it from the guarantee standpoint, from the, from the fi fixed annuity standpoint. So what happens is there's business out there. People right now, if, if so many, I would say, you know, so many people are not contacting their clients, and, and I wanted to keep everything together, but really... I mean, you know, if you're not contacting your clients and just saying, hi, hey, how you doing? You don't have to get into a lot of stuff, but I'll tell you, especially if you have the fixed index product, you can tell them it hasn't gone down. But we talk about the SECURE Act. There's four slides on the SECURE Act, four slides. We talk about the difference in the IRA age, difference in inherited IRAs to so the 10-year rule, difference of the um, – of the um, uh, lifetime income annuities within 401k. So there's some different things we talk about there. I talk are there questions and concerns why people are there. Those are the actual slides, although there's only about this is about half the slides. I go through a stroll down memory lane with them. You know, started by FDR in 1935, first paycheck in 1940. In 1935, the average person lived at age 62. Social Security started paying at 65. <laughs> yeah, I love those odds if you're. If you're the government, don't you? Yeah. In 61, under uh, uh, JFK, uh, they lowered it. They could start taking it at 62 at a reduction. Then soon after that, they said you can, t or you can wait longer and get it increased, not have it now, but get increased. Automatic inflation adjustment started in 75. There was no taxation until 83. Ronald Reagan shook hands with Tip O'Neill across the aisle, which doesn't happen much anymore. But 50% of benefits are taxed above a certain rate than Clinton at 85%. Yeah, so so I kind of give a little bit of a history. Now remember, I'm going through this quite quickly now. Know this also. Most advisors don't know squat about Social Security claiming. They just don't. They don't know much. Only about 12% of advisors could give this presentation today. And if you're one of those 12%, that's wonderful. You should be giving Social Security workshops because you're way ahead of the ball game. Most people know just a little bit. I mean, a little bit. And so what happens is I give you three coaching sessions, a great book. I call it the Bible of Social Security to read, updated um, for a, you know, 25 times. It's its 25th anniversary. It's been updated five, six, seven times. Really a good book. I'm always available to answer questions. I have, I have, Someone, I mean, maybe doesn't call me every day, but 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 at least three, four times a week, I get a call from Social Security, one of my one of my coaching clients that is a producer. Hey, here's a situation I'm in, or here's what would you do? How would you do this? And I help them with it. Six, about 60% of retirees count on Social Security being a major factor for their income in retirement. This is a real important slide, so I'm going to go through this a little bit slower. But this comes from Jana Heron. This is this is strong stuff too. The headline, I, I took this word for word from the, from, the, from the article. Doing this one thing with your Social Security could mean losing 100000 in retirement. It's an excerpt from July 1st of 2019, just last year, eight, nine months ago. Bullet point one, how much does claiming your Social Security at the wrong time cost you? Bullet point two, 
retirees will lose an average, not the wealthy, but the an average of $111,000 in income per household over their lifetime. Why? Because they took Social Security benefits at the wrong time. And then I'll say, if, if you was in the workshop, folks, or I'll say it online. My online workshop, I do it exactly the same as if I was there in front of them. And we were extremely happy. I mean, I bought a, I have a camera in my, my computer, but for 40 bucks, I, I went down to Staples and I, and I bought a, 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 an add-on camera. And I'm telling you what, um, I mean, I was going to say I looked good, but, but I'm an old dude. So I, I mean, not, not from age, but the quality, the clarity was extremely good. 1080 DPI was very good. It says, oh, here, bullet point number three overall, only 4% of retirees took Social Security at the financially optimal age. Only 4%. Isn't that something? That's why you're here tonight. That, and I say that's why most people sign up at the end for the consultation, because they want to find when is the best time for yourself to sign up. I go through about how Social Security works. I mean, there's three important dates or ages. One is full retirement age. If you're born from 1943 to 1954, your full retirement age is 66. I was born in April of 1955. So I'm 66 years and two months. In fact, my birthday is next week. Happy birthday to me. Went on Medicare this month. I love it. Yep. So here's what happens is, if you take early, you get it now, but it's reduced. You can take as early as 62. If you wait later, you can wait as late as 70, and, it, and it's guaranteed to grow every single month, every single year, up to 80. Then you must take it, or you just lose you just lose the benefit. So if you wait later, it's bigger. If you take earlier, it is less. That's the basics of Social Security. And I say Social Security can have a huge value if you claim at your right time. Not the right time, but your right time. Big benefit? Yeah. At, a, at an average 2.8% cost of living. So if I asked you right now, someone says, I know a lot about Social Security. I would say, so what is the cost of living for Social Security for 2020? You know what it is? Well, if you know, you know more than most. It's 1.6%. What was it last year? 2.8%. What was it before? 2%. It's averaged 2% approximately over the last 10 years. It's averaged about 3.5% or just over that since inflation started in 1975. Look at what your benefit would have grown to with inflation adjusted. I mean, that 2.8 COLA, which, go, which uh, that's the average. It isn't that much this year, but I just use that as an average. Yeah, in 10 years, you would have got over 300,000 bucks. $300,000. Just think if somebody came and put that money on your stoop, 300000 It would be incredible. Or if, or if you won in 20 years, two-thirds of a million, or in 30 years, $1.1 million. It's a huge benefit. I have five myths. We're going to talk about a couple, three of them today just to save time. But Social Security, is it going broke? No, it's not. I mean, I heard my dad say when I was young, hey, you you better save, you better invest, which was good information, but it was because Social Security will never be there when I retire. Well, guess what, Dad? He's been dead for 14 years. It is still retired. By the way, my mom's still living. She's 96. At home. Just gave her car up in the last six months. She has dated her boyfriend's 96. <laughs> They've been dating for 10 years. They've taken a trip every single year, except for they aren't going to this year because of the virus. People are living longer, feeling better. You know what? And if you're down about the coronavirus, COVID-19, I understand. But I will tell you right now, there's there's nothing. I had a lawyer one time say to me, Dave, what is, is. You, you can't change it. You can just be safe. You know, if you're, if you're homebound, then do the most you can f from your home. I mean, if, if they come in Nebraska and they say, hey, it's shelter in place, you know what? Um, I might get arrested going to work. I'm only four blocks away. But uh, what happens is if I had to, yeah, I got my computer at home and I'm going to work. I'm going to make things happen. 
And that's why we're doing online seminars now. And what our hope is, truly, when, when everything gets back to normal, which it will within three to six months, yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to – we're not going to be able to go to the library or go, schools are going to be out forever. That isn't going to happen. It's not. I mean, it's just not. And I, and I just had the new news, you know, it isn't one or two or three percent dying. You know, it's point six six. And I think that the more they test, it might even be lower than that. Probably higher than the flu, more deadly than the flu. But but it'll pass. And then they'll find a, they'll find an inoculation for it before it's all said and done. But our business has to continue. Our, 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 uh, you know, our, um, you know, our um, uh, expenses they continue. And I'll tell you right now, I think it's very, very important. And I'll say this on the line: um, if you have not gone in and asked for some of the federal government loans, I think it's very, very important that you do that. I mean, I've done it already. And, and, and most of my friends are. So the disaster loan assistance, right? That's the, the, the EILA, Economic Injury Disaster Loan. That's the $10,000. Yeah, you can be a sole proprietorship. You can be a business. You can be an S Corp. You can be a C Corp. And then the other one is the Paycheck Protection Program. That's the PPP. This is the first day. You've got to get a hold of your banker, you know, or your credit union, your savings and loan, someone that you can do it through the SBA. But I'm just telling you, uh, there, if it's hurt your business, which which it's hurt all of our businesses, no doubt, you can apply for those loans. And so I'm just letting you know. I mean, I've done this already. Today is the first day you could do the PPP, but you could do the ten thousand. That's opened up for a while, but it's first come first serve. It's a lot of money three three hundred and fifty billion dollars. But I'll tell you right now, you we need to get our share because our industry has been hurt. And so if if you haven't. I think it's extremely important to go in and, and, and to get those done. I have, and mine are up there right now. My, my applications are in um, because that, that can help with payroll. Um, it's forgivable if it, if it goes to payroll, to rent, to utilities, um, um, state taxes. Yeah, that, you know, what happens is, 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 is that, is that um, actually state taxes can be can, can, in the calculation of the 2.5%, but it's a pretty big deal. So, that's my little I, – I, I didn't mean to get on a roll there, but I think it's very important. If the, the, if the government – I've never taken a handout in my life, but I have paid a ton of taxes in my day. So we're well-deserving. They need the small business like the financial service arena to be able to, to, to go in and to offer, you know, so, so, you know to, to offer rate of returns and offer protection on money that, uh, that people need. So, but anyway, going back, yeah, Social Security is not going broke. In fact, it actually ran a, a, a surplus last year of three billion dollars off of a trillion dollars of revenue. It was up three billion, barely, and it probably this year. This goes back to 218. 219 might have been a deficit. We'll see when it comes out here in a couple months. But the Social Security has 2.9 trillion, and it will run out. It will run out, you know, in about 2033, 34, or 2035. Most people think once the, the, if it was bankrupt, there'd be no money coming into recipients, but that's not true because it's a pay-as-you-go system. Right now, there's three workers for every retired. Now, back in 2000 or back in 1950, there was 15 workers for every retired. But we're a much older society. In fact, the, the, the fastest growing age group is 100 and over. The next fastest growing is 90 and over. The next fastest is 80 and over. Truly, it's it, we're, we're you know there, there aren't as many uh, kids being born and people are living longer. Just like my mom and her boyfriend. Uh, are they going to shore up uh, Social Security? You bet. There's a lot of different ways, but the easiest thing is, I hope they'll probably be. I'm not a, I'm not a big tax guy because I think we're taxed enough, but there'll, uh, there'll probably be some taxation. But there should also be some raising of full retirement age, where it's 67. If you're born 1960 or later, it's 67. You just raised it from 67 to 70. I mean, that firms up. I mean, I, I heard actually 13 years per year, you know, of liquidity, solvency, but but we'll see. It's just one of the ways to go in and do that. Social Security facts, it's a pay, uh, pay as you go system. Yeah, it's paid by payroll taxes, isn't it? It is. It's paid by payroll taxes. So if, if the Social Security Trust Fund went bankrupt, there's still probably 75, 80% of the money would continue to come in. Because people are still working and putting in their 6.2, government's putting in 6.2. Uh, 
What does the government buy with this money? Special issue government bonds. And have they borrowed against them? They have. But remember, that IOU for Social Security is the same IOU that your dollar in your pocket has. That dollar in your pocket is not backed by gold or silver, is it? No. It's backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government, just like Social Security. So I always say, and I say in the workshop, if I go down and fill my car up with gas, which, by the way, cost a heck of a lot less. We got we got buck sixty one gas here in Fremont, Nebraska, buck sixty one. When I was a kid, I remember my dad saying, who was not a smoker, but but a lot of our friends were. He said that uh, gas cost about the same of what a pack of cigarettes cost. <laughs> well, I, I don't. I'm not a smoker. I, I I love cigars, but not cigarettes. But you know what? I think a pack of cigarettes probably cost five bucks, and now gas is a buck sixty one. I took a picture of it with my phone. I just because we're, it's unbelievable. Actually, in, in oil jumped up big yesterday, but 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 because 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 the Saudis and Russia are getting together now, and they are going to slow production. You're going to see uh, the cost of. But but don't you love that? It's saving us money. Yeah. Okay. Your earnings over your working career, 35 years, that's what they consider. If you don't work in a year of those 35, you have 34, you get a zero. Zeros aren't good to have, just like in class. Remember I talked to full retirement age? First of all, don't you love this dog? <laughs> and this is a bad Nebraska joke, but he's wearing a bone tie. <laughs> a long-haired dachshund. Yep. You're born 43 to 54. Your full retirement age is 66. I was born in 55, 66 years and two months. If you're born in 56, four months, up to 59, 66, 10, 1960 and later, full retirement age. If you take, if you wait till full retirement age, you get your full retirement check. If you take it early, the good thing is you get it now. My wife took early. My wife took it 62. That was the best for us. She took it 62. Let me tell you what. I always say Social Security is the worst water cooler talk you can have. Hey, Dave, I took it 62, and you should too. Hey, Dave, I took it 70, and you should too. It means nothing. That's like saying, hey, Dave, my favorite color is violet, and yours should be too. It means nothing. It's like a snowflake. Every single one is individual and unique. Okay? But full retirement age, everything's taken from there. You take earlier, it's reduced. If you wait later, then it's increased. If there's any questions, you know, uh, uh, certainly uh, put them on in, and I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Okay? Well, see what I can do here. There we go. Apologize. Yep. If you take it 62, full retirement age is 66, it's a 25% reduction. If you have a thousand buck check coming in at 66, you take it 62 instead, you're going to get 750 bucks. Wait later, you're guaranteed to for it to grow 8%. Plus COLA. COLA is 1.6%. You're guaranteed this year for your money to grow, your income to grow 9.6%. Is there any investment this year that you can guarantee by the federal government to grow almost 10%? Can you say no? Can you say no? And I'll tell you right now, the system works. Before I really understood Social Security, which was a little over 10 years ago, I mean, I thought, well, well, we should be investing in stocks. I'm an old stockbroker by, 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 by nature, but I see the system's not broke. The system works. You know, they're earning about 3% you know, on, on, the, on the Treasury, special issues, Treasury securities that they buy and then borrow against. Yeah, if it's not, if it's not broke, don't change it. But but I'll tell you, Social Security, I don't say this with most government programs, which are pork-laden and filled with fat, but I'll tell you right now, Social Security is quite a program. Spousal benefits, Dave's PIA stands for primary insurance amount is $2,400. Amy's PIA is 1000 Dave takes his, Amy takes hers. Dave gets 2400 On a spousal benefit, Amy can take her benefit. And it's gender neutral. Could be Amy at twenty four hundred and David a thousand. But you could take the lower one can take all of their benefit or half of their spouses, whichever is more. That's how it works. How about Amy never worked? She's a volunteer and had had like the old lady in the shoe. She had the twenty kids, stayed at home mom. 
As long as Dave claims his, she could take all of hers is zero, half of his is twelve hundred, same thing. How about Dave doesn't want to take his down, wants to wait until seventy and let it keep growing? Amy can't Amy he can only get a thousand bucks. Once Dave claims his, now she can take half of his. Pretty interesting. How about divorce spouse? Here's the triple play. Your marriage lasted 10 years or longer. You're currently unmarried. Your ex is at least 62 years of age. If all those things line up, you can take your divorced spouse just as if you're married to them. Why is that important? Because married couples get many more benefits than single couples. Big deal. How about survivor benefits? My wife always says the one thing she that we can guarantee, and in my business, the, sec, the security business is different than the, in the in the insurance business. We, we can't really say the word guarantee hardly ever, without disclaiming it about ten pages long. But I guarantee you, no one's going to get out of here alive, <laughs> physically alive. My wife always says that I get a kick out of that. Days benefits two thousand. Amy's benefit twelve hundred. Who normally dies first, the guy or the gal, in the marriage? Yeah, the guy. You know why that is? Because he elects to. That's a joke. It's another Nebraska bad humor. Yeah, Dave dies. My dad died 14 years ago. My mom's still living. Okay? Dave dies. My my wife, Amy, can jump up to my benefit if she elects to. If she elects to. Now, here's what's interesting is, spousal benefits are done automatically, but divorced and survivor benefits... You have to ask. Either got to do it in person, online, or by phone. Can't do it by mail. And right now, because of uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, there is no uh, in-person availability at this, all of the Social Security Administration uh, offices throughout the United States. So it has to be done by phone. And so that's a trick because they don't, you have to get to them a, Birth, you know, marriage certificate or divorce decree or death certificate. So kind of a tricky time period right now. I had a lady come to me afterwards, the workshop, right where I started in Fremont, my little town at the, about 27,000. She said, Dave, you said something at the workshop that really, really concerned me. I said, well, what's that? She said, well, you said that, that if, your, if your spouse dies and that person has a higher benefit than you do, and you're the other spouse, you could uh, let yours go and jump up to his. And I said, that's exactly right. And she said, well, I, she was just she was adamant. She goes, well, I was told you couldn't do that. And I said, well, who told you that? <laughs> and she said, her brother. <laughs> and, and I got the biggest, I mean, I tried to not to laugh, but, 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 and I tell folks who are in the crowd, but why? Don't listen to your brother on social claiming. Don't listen to your priest or pastor. You know, if you want to be saved, then talk to him. But if you want help with social security claiming, come talk to me. I'm the one that knows. I can give advice. Okay? Yeah, pretty pretty strong stuff. Again, any questions? I'm going to go through this last pretty darn fast. So, so since, you know, coordinating spousal benefits. Yeah, it, actually... This next one's called restricted application. It's, it is complicated. Not many people, no, most people are too young, but if you're born before January the 2nd of 1954, you can do this. This is just where, say, Dave's benefits 24, Amy's is 1,000. Let's say Dave wants to wait till 70, Amy wants to take hers. Normally, she can't get half of his until he turns his on. He restricts his application. Actually, now, he can let his grow the 8% guaranteed. If he's full retirement age or later, he has to start it. He can go and take half of Amy's, which is the spousal benefit. He can go get $500. That's that's ap why his keeps growing, the, the, the 8%. Yeah, it's wild. There'll be a lot of moving parts here, but that, that 500 bucks a month, that's 6000 a year, that's 24000 in four years, that's absolutely free money. Only 0.7% of all... Social Security claiming recipients that would benefit from this, use it. 0.7. Social Security, this is, this is going in in scenario planning. Social Security does, will not tell you. In fact, Social Security cannot give you advice, believe it or not. Myth number two, most people do not have the dis... Oh, yeah. If I claim Social Security benefits early and invest the income, I come out ahead. It's hardly ever true. People just don't have the discipline to do that, even though I'm in the investment business. Is there reasons to claim early? You bet. Bad health, 
need money, bad DNA. Um, I always joke, say, say, say you're in real good health, but your three only brothers all died of lung cancer and you happen to be a smoker. <laughs> you probably want to claim early. But being uninformed, that's not the reason to claim early. That's why people are here tonight, to learn about this. Annual earnings test, if you make over 18240 and and you're, you're under full retirement age, then then what's happened is the, the Social Security is going to hold back half your half your benefit. You actually get it back as a stipend once you turn full retirement age over your life expectancy. But most of the time, it's not worth to take Social Security if you're under full retirement age and still working and making over eighteen thousand two forty. It normally isn't worthwhile. Once you make about forty six forty seven thousand, they'll take away all of it. Social Security myth number three. You're going to get the biggest family benefit waiting to age 70. It's just not, not the case. I mean, many times, my wife, she took it 62 because it, it helped us financially the most. But if you do delay, if you have a $2,000 benefit and you take it at 62, 1500 at, at basically 3%, your money doubles in eight years. Where, where can you double money in eight years? Probably nowhere but Social Security. Yeah, if you pay it back within the first year and you started it, you can do it over one time. That gal, that when I said she lost thirty thousand bucks, she lost six thousand dollars over five years. Thirty thousand. We actually went back on and said, "Hey, I made a mistake. I should have done this a long time ago." They'll let you retro six months of benefit. Well, six months of five hundred is three thousand. She actually only lost twenty-seven thousand because because she listened to her brother. Yeah. If you started before full retirement age, uh, after a year, you can pay it back within a year. But after a year. You can't stop it until you turn full retirement age. Interesting. Interesting. Those are kind of just do-overs that we talk about. Is there taxation? Can be if you're in a higher enough bracket. There can be. Like married filing jointly. Called provisional income. That's adjusted gross income with no Social Security. Half of your Social Security. All of your municipal bond interest. If you're still under 32000 married filing jointly, none of your Social Security be taxed. If it's 32 to 44. 50% over 44, 85% of your Social Security is taxed. Those brackets were started by Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill uh, in 1983. 82 was the last time that Social Security ran a deficit. So 83, they started taxation to firm up uh, the trust fund, and they've never they've never gone up with inflation since. So in the beginning, hardly anybody paid taxation. Now, by far the majority of my my folks do pay taxation on Social Security. There's ways to reduce using tax deferred, which I don't say the word annuity, but that's what we're meaning there. How about Roth conversions? Yeah, Roth conversions. So that tax-free Roth is different than municipal bond Roth. That isn't that isn't covered. So why and I talk about Roth conversions? Why it could be a good idea right now, especially with the with the high standard deduction. I mean, if you're if two people are 65 years or older, they got $27,000 worth of standard deduction. That's why almost hardly anybody. Unless you got a bunch of real estate or medical bills, hardly anybody is, to, is, is, is itemizing these days. Or it could be small business, but itemizing, yeah. Social Security myth number five. Social Security Administration is going to give you advice to when to maximize your benefit. That's so wrong. They can give you your highest benefit now, but they cannot give you advice. Interesting, isn't it? And this comes right from their handbook. Providing enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but do not give advice. When I got in this business three years ago, all these people are well known in my little town of Fremont. But my estate planning lawyer, my my CPA, my banker, all of them were 55, 58 or more. One's retired now. All of them said, I said, people need advice. Who, what do you do? Said, they all of them said, we, we send them to the Social Security Administration. <laughs> and they can't give advice. Get a load of that. So I wrote a letter to everybody, and then every I I, I drip on them, and I, and I and I get I mean I just I just did I got a, a great lead. Um, I, I got a closing appointment next week from the banker that 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 actually has since been doing business with me, but it's because of that Social Security letter, two hundred thousand on a fixed index annuity, just because I know Social Security, and I got other stories like that too. It, Social Security is not a standalone income stream. I believe it's the most flexible. I talk about wages, pensions, income-producing assets like 401ks, IRAs, Roth, brokerage accounts, et cetera, CDs, RMDs, which are now 72 on traditionals, and Social Security being the most flexible. Number three is where that's where we find the asset. That's where we find the asset to work with, and I show you how to do that 
when we're coaching together. So you ask, where, you know, first of all, where do you go from here? Okay. And then I said, there's so much to think about. There's benefits. There's your individual. There could be spousal. There could be divorced. I mean, there's a lot to consider for your best claiming decision. I talk about in my whole last three slides are basically, if you don't sign up for the appointment, you're probably not, you're probably not going to get informed like you should. So I talk about procrastination. Procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. Well, you know what? Tomorrow never comes, does it? Never comes. What is what's Nike Shoe Company's most profitable shoe company in the world? What's their slogan? Oh, yeah, just do it. Just do it. Folks, if you learn something today, that's what I always say. If you learn something today, then, then and we're going to bring up the poll here. You need to mark yes. We can do a consultation you know, online. We say we can do it, and I can still do it face-to-face. But some people, they can't. You know, some areas you can't. There's a, probably 80% of the population in the U.S. We're lucky here in sparsely populated Nebraska. Uh, we've had about 2,800 cases, and I think six people have passed. So, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're not in the, the bad thick of things like some, but you can do a lot by phone also. So if, you, so that, if you'd like information on Social Security seminars, online seminars, that's what we're doing right now. We're not doing any face-to-face -face because you can't. You can't do. You can't go to the. You can't go to the uh, library. You can't go to the school, the community center, the retirement center. You, you just. You know, it's 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 a different business. But you know what? Am I still in front of prospects? You, you I say in front of, but on the phone. You darn right. And I always tell people, hey, if you sign up for, the, you can either do it. You can either do it. I can do it still face to face or on the phone or we can video conference if you want to. The very same system that we do the seminar on, you can also use that for video conferencing if you want to do that, which gives it a little more personal touch. So if you'd like, I'm telling you right now, if you're if you're not out there still humping it, you need to mark yes on this and talk to me because you know what? We are. Bay Pimper, a lot of the folks that I'm working with, I am we're still in business. We're still in our we are in business still showing fixed index annuities, still showing um, uh, financial strategies to help people. And I tell you what, people need us more now. In times of crisis, people truly are much more open. Like the, the, the 200000 I got yesterday, uh, the lady just said, I am so happy that, that, I, that I met you through the, through the seminar because I, I, I needed someone to, to take care of this for me. Yeah, she she has over a million dollars of investable. She has a buyout pension of eight hundred thousand. She could actually do it now if she retired at about seven fifty. If she waits a couple three years, it's going to be over like eight hundred fifty thousand on a buyout on a pension plan. And I'll tell you what, I'm and she goes, you can. She love this. As we left, she goes out. Now you know I'm going to work with you with this other money too. And I said, well, I hope that I that I do a good job for you and that you'll see the need for that. So if you mark yes, yeah, then it's either going to probably be Nicole or maybe. Or maybe um, Lisa will give you a call um, and and light up an appointment with myself. So, Steve, I'm sorry I ran over because you ran over, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to switch it on back to you. Maybe we can answer a question or two. We'll get everybody you know back so they can you know, continue the rest of their day. Thanks, Steve. Well, it's always my fault. I understand that. That's it's like we're married or something. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like your wife. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. And I say that in a good way because I love Barb. You know that. Oh, yeah. uh, so uh, I, I, I heard you saying, yeah, we are definitely open for business. In fact, I think you underestimate these folks on the line with us because we're uh, we're having some of the best. In fact, I think March will be the best month we've ever had in terms of annuity business out there. And I think a lot of the hey, but, but, change... but you know what, Steve? When people when, when people look at that four hundred one k statement and they they see that it's down. You know what? What do they think of? Oh my gosh! If it keeps yep. on going like it's going, we better put some breaks. We better get us, we better get something that has oh, some absolutely. kind of guarantees. And that's I'm telling you what I know, and I know I know that's on the people's mind, and that's why that's why when you bring up uh, like like for, uh, that's why when you bring up Social Security, the, the 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 type of assets that they have, they can pull income from. That's where you get in that conversation or the 401k oh, yeah. workshop. We hit that just directly head on. So. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I did have some questions about can we get these slides? So anybody sorry, that's on, yep. Anybody that's on the uh, 
the webinar today will get us get a copy of this webinar if you want to get a hold of the slides uh, and the presentation and do the a to z coaching then i would suggest that you do check yes on that uh on the, on the poll that you see before you right now and get a, get a meeting set up with dave that's the way that you do that uh dave has probably talked a little bit about the digital workshops and the success that he had but i still see there, there's some questions about that i'm I, I'm going to guess too that many of those should be answered. Just looking at them, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know, what do you use? And those are all going to be questions that would be answered one-on-one -on -one with Dave. If, if seminars is a, is a direction, digital workshops is a direction that you want to go. So by all means, if any of that's the case, hit yes. And Dave, there are a lot of questions about numbers. I think that's a pertinent question. You went through your numbers from the digital workshop, and that's still a little bit of a work in progress and I think we're going to see better numbers from our digital workshops than we see from face to face before we get it all figured out here but give, a, give the folks some idea of what they can expect from social security workshops in general what are, what are you seeing from a conversion in terms of how many appointments and how many sales that you're generally getting yeah the jury's out some on the online because but, but, but this isn't going to be this is and this is not a band-aid I mean Steve I mean I am they they they've put a lot of time and a lot of money in developing and we did it fairly darn fast too and i tell you what i think it's we're very lucky to have our facebook vendor who is like the techie of all times he just grabbed this and ran with it and still to be able to give the guarantee that is something cool awesome. too so what happens is is that it yeah and conventional work i mean i mean i i want to do between Two hundred and fifty and five hundred thousand dollars worth of business per workshop. I did I did eight hundred and five thousand um, off of the last four hundred one k workshop, and I did that only off of one night. You don't get as many people from the four hundred one k, but you go in and, and I think it'll change now because I did that right before it was my, my it was my last workshop that I did before they kind of shut down libraries. If you know, I had like in four days I had a social security and they shut me down which yes. that's when we jumped right into the online. So, but yeah, yeah, but you know what? I mean, it depends on the person, but, but, but you hope you do, a, you, you don't want to do a quarter of a million. If, you, if you're not doing that, you know, then you probably you want to get in at least in, in, in front of at least 10 appointments, if not 15 appointments. And I, and, and I tell you, Steve, you know, we, we talked about that we should never say a couple of the workshops that I had of just how many people came, how many appointments I got, because it almost sounds outlandish. But we've had some. The, the, the vendor guarantees 25, but 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 you know I've had, I've had, and you know not just me, but other people too, like Phil and like like like. Scott. I mean, gosh, we've had, we've had t Scott tons of people. I mean, tons too of many appointments. So, too many a couple no, times. I, but actually, but yeah, yeah, but a quarter of a million. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know if you can get too many. It's like chalk a little bit, but yeah, but you know what? It's a, it's a good thing to have, and I think right now, believe me, business, why your business is so good, if, if, if you're not, if, a lot of people aren't contacting their advisor, and I'll tell you, it's a great time for us to do that and to help them with their financial needs, and that's just exactly what educational workshops do. Yeah. During the course of your webinar, Dave, you were get, going through some uh, some standard numbers and we've got some folks that have questions on those i'm going to suggest for those folks there looks like there's six or eight questions about hey this is a situation i have for those very specific things if you would check yes and and let uh let our uh, team make a little appointment for you with dave you can certainly ask him those very specific questions on a one-on-one -on -one phone call uh, which i think is the best way to handle that uh, so dave digital workshops we can talk a little bit about what the expectations are but what we know for sure is that there are a lot of people that maybe are displaced from their normal routine. Most people, frankly, are displaced from their normal daily routine. They've got more time. They're certainly more open than ever. They're probably learning a little bit more how to how to meet people online. Uh, and so I think this the timing of this is perfect. And you mentioned it already. This opens a door that I think will stay open for a while. I think we're going to have, I think digital workshops are going to be something that we're going to continue to do. So if you're concerned about you know, should I do this now? This thing will be over soon. I think you need to dive right in. I think there's opportunity that will extend way beyond this current crisis that you can use that to help grow your business. If you're concerned about doing seminars in general, there's none easier to get started on than social security claiming. You know, that's a, it's an easy entree. It's kind of the entry level. 
seminar system. And the great thing about it is that we're just, we don't, we've not ever had better results with any other seminar system than what we're seeing with Social Security claiming. So great way to get in the door. Dave mentioned as well, he's got his 401k seminar. I think that's particularly timely. Uh, how many people right now are, uh, you know, unemployment claims, last number I saw from yesterday was over six and a half million. And that was like double from the day before. I haven't seen today's numbers yet. There's going to be a lot of people that the 401ks are freed up. There's also a lot of people concerned about what their 401ks are doing. Uh, you know, 25% decrease is hard to take uh, and we can help them with that. So I think these are timely. I think the, the uh, we've got the coaching is right. Uh, Dave has done a great job with the A to Z coaching. And A to Z includes everything from you know, how do I get going? How do I you know, help you with help you understand your social security? You know, how do I do every facet of it, including the most troublesome point that everyone has with social security seminars is how do I then help people understand that we're not just talking about social security, but we're talking about their other assets. And Dave would be the first one to tell you that initially that was an issue that he had on transition. He's got that all cleared up. We've got the we've got the transition now in place to make that work for you seamlessly. So a lot of good things going on here. I see that almost all of you have voted, and oh, it looks like overwhelming yeses. So a lot of interest, Dave. You're going to have a full full couple of days of catching up with everybody. Um, unless there are any additional questions that we haven't already tried to address in one way or another, I think we are. Let me look here real quick, Dave, and make sure. I don't think we see any new ones. I got a couple of thank yous. So, um, Dave, thank you on our behalf as well for taking some time out of your busy day. I know you got a lot going right now, a lot of people to talk to, which is great. Uh, thank you all too for uh, joining us. I, I know in these unusual times, you're looking for new ideas, and hopefully, you've gotten a couple here today. Uh, we're all about that here at IAMS, making sure that you've got great ways to get in front of folks. So, whatever we can do to help, as always, you know, give me or anyone on the team a call at 800-255-5055. You'll be hearing shortly from uh, Nicole and Lisa uh, to set up final appointments with Dave, which is great. Uh, anything that you want to add, Dave, before we close out? No. Hey, just keep the faith. I mean, you got to keep positive. I mean, you know what? I mean, I watch the news and I read a lot of stuff and it's so negative out there, but you know what? I mean, it's going to pass. It's going to pass and you know what? It's going to, it's going to hurt for a while. It's going to hurt our business for a while. Don't forget about those federal loans. I think that's very important. You know what? If, uh, if you don't ask, you don't receive. And the, they, they want to give the money away. I guarantee you. They're helping us because our, our business is going to be affected. So, yeah, uh, hopefully I can talk to a lot of you and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Dave. Have a great, great finish to your week here today. And we'll talk to you all next week. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.